guys, this is Neha and in today's video we are going to discuss some question and answers on the topic sets. These questions are very important as they have already appeared in previous JWE exams and some other engineering exams. This discussion will give us an idea of the type of question to expect in the entrance examinations from the topic sets. So, let's start a discussion. So, the first question is Sets A and B have 3 and 6 elements respectively. What can be the minimum number of elements in A union B? Now, the answer is 1 from these 4 options. Now, pause the video and try to solve it. And play the video again to see how you answered. Now, let's see the answer. Sets A and B have 3 and 6 elements respectively. What can be the minimum number of elements in A union B? We have a formula that is N of A union B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. Now, if we substitute the value for N of A and N of B here, which is given to be 3 and 6, we get N of A union B is equal to 3 plus 6 minus n of a intersection b. We don't know the value for a intersection b. But what will be the maximum number of elements in a intersection b? The maximum number of elements in a intersection b will be 3. Alright, now after substituting 3 here, we'll get 3 plus 6, 9 minus 3 then is equal to 6. And 6 is the minimum number of elements in A union B. Hope you have got the right answer. Now let's move to the next question. Two finite sets have M and N elements respectively. The total number of subsets of the first set is 112 more than the total number of subsets of the second set. The value of M and N respectively are 5,2, 4,7, 7,4 or 2,5. Our answer is 1 from this of the 4 options. Now, pause the video and try to solve it. And play the video again to see how you answered. Now, let's see the answers. Two finite sets have M and N elements respectively. So, what will be the number of subsets? The number of subsets will be 2 to the power m and 2 to the power n respectively. And it's mentioned that the total number of subsets of the first set is 112 more than the total number of subsets of the second set. The total number of subsets of the first set is 112 more than the total number of subsets of the second set. So, if we add 112 to the total number of subsets of the second set, we will get an equation as 2 to the power m is equal to 2 to the power n plus 112. Now, we will solve this to find the value of m and n. Okay, so we get here 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 4. So, the value of n is 4. And 2 to the power m minus n minus 1 is equal to 7. On substituting the value of n here, we get it as 2 to the power m minus 4 is equal to 2 to the power 3. Hence, m minus 4 is equal to 3. Hence, m is equal to 7. Hence, the value is for n it's 4 and for m it's 7. That means 7 comma 4 as it is m comma n and m is 7 so it's 7 comma 4. Hope you got the right answer. Now let's move to the next question. If x is equal to 4 to the power n minus 3 into n minus 1 such that n belongs to natural numbers and y is equal to 9 into n minus 1 such that n belongs to natural number where n is the set of natural numbers then x union y is equal to. You need to find x union y. 
you are given the two sets x and y and you need to find x union y. So again, I would suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it and play the video again to see how you answered. Now, let's see the answer. Okay, so firstly, let's try to list the elements of the two given sets. The two given sets are x and y. So firstly, let's try to list the elements of x. Now, what is n here? n is the natural number. So n will take the value 1, 2, 3, 4 and it goes on. So let's substitute firstly for small n, 1. So it will be 4 to the power 1 minus 3 into 1 is 3 minus 1. That is 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now let's substitute the second number that is 2. So 4 to the power 2 is 16 minus 3 into 2 is 6 minus 1 which will give you 9. Sec next we will substitute 3. On substituting 3 here we get 54. On substituting 4 we get 243 and hence it goes on. Then we try to list the elements for the set y. Again here n is the set of natural numbers. So it will take the values 1, 2, 3 and it goes on. Now firstly we will substitute for n 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So the first value here will be 0. Next we will substitute for n 2. 2 minus 1 is 1 and 1 into 9 is 9. Next we will substitute 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. And 2 into 9 is 18. So you can see the elements listed as 2, 9, 18, 27. So we can see here that this set X is a subset of this set Y. Because all these elements, all the elements of X can be found in Y. So if we find X union Y, what will we get? we will get x union y is y. Hope you got the right answer. Now let's move to the next question. Let s is equal to 0, 1, 5, 4, 7. Then the total number of subsets of s is. You are given a set s with 5 elements 0, 1, 5, 4 and 7. And you need to find the total number of subsets of this set S. Again, this is a very easy question. Try to solve it of your own and again play the video to see how you answered. Let's see the answer. Here the number of elements is 5 and we know the formula for finding the total number of subsets is 2 to the power n where n is the number of elements in the set. Here n is equal to 5. So it will be 2 to the power 5 is equal to 32. So the option B is correct that is 32. Hope you got the right answers. So this brings us to the end of this video. But hold on. We have some more question and answers which we will discuss in our next video. Thank you.